Hi, Dr. Jacob here. And what I'd like to do is take a minute to give you an idea in our What to Expect series, what it'll look like in Google Classroom. We also wanna give you insight on what the schedule will look like for those cyber days, uh, as well as for our students to find out how can you find your assignments, how can you find your class meet link, uh, as well as how can you connect with your teachers as well as your peers. And so um, one of the key insights I want to give you is the fact that all students will have a Chromebook here uh, for the new school year. We are waiting on our shipment, um, but they have been ordered. We ordered them early in July with the new budget year. And the K-1 students uh, will have a touchscreen enabled Chromebook because we know that that's much easier for our younger learners as far as navigation. Um, but please keep in mind that we're ordering Chromebooks, but so is the rest of the world. So we're going to see um, whenever those get in, we'll get them out as soon as possible. But we do ask that you're a little patient when it comes to us getting the new Chromebooks for the students. So, um, and then finally, for our Cyber Academy students, all of your work will be designed to be asynchronous. And what that means is that that means that you can complete it um, at your own pace and uh, based upon your schedule. However, depending on your teacher, there may be opportunities for you to, to have synchronous work with your teacher. And so that, that's all dependent on the schedule of your teacher, as well as the classes that you need in order to make that happen. However, the platform is going to be exactly the same. We're all going to utilize Google Classroom, and I'd like to uh, take you in and show you, just using my Google Classroom, what it's going to, be look, what, what it's going to look like. So if you go to Google, you're just going to type in classroom.google.com. And when you go in, it may ask you to sign in. I'm going to switch over to my professional account. And what it'll show you is it'll show you all of the classes that you are either a uh, student for or, in my case, a teacher for. And so um, with it, I'm going to jump into one of the classes where I'm a teacher so that you can see what it looks like. But you would have, for example, a science class, an ELA class, a social studies class, and a math class. Each one is going to be a separate class there listed for you in Google Classroom. So let's jump into the professional learning class just so I can show you an example. And what I'll do is I'll voice over some of the, some of the sample areas so you can see what it's going to look like. When you click on a class, you'll see the title of the class at the very top for the 2020-2021 school year, the class code, and then the Meet link. Now that's the, the link to take you to Google Meet so that you can meet up with your teacher or also with your fellow students. And so the Meet link is always there for you so you don't have to go searching for it. All of your upcoming assignments will be in a box on the far left-hand side of the Google Classroom, and it'll list that for you if you have any upcoming work. And all of your assignments and resources will be in the center section. You can also add class comments, you can review the videos, you can also submit your assignments right within that center section as you scroll through. If I click on classwork, what you're going to see is, again, the Google Meet link. It will all be arranged within topics. And if I click on Google Calendar, you'll notice what it does is it will create for you a list of when all of your assignments are due. So we really like that Google Classroom syncs with Google Calendar as well as puts all of the assignments in your own Google folder. So everything that's posted on Google Classroom will go right into a Classroom folder just for you. So it's, it's very easy to uh, ensure that you have all the assignments that you need and all of the, the topics and work that you need right at your fingertips. If I click on People, you can see who your teachers are, as well as your colleagues, your fellow students, and then you would just click on Grades if you wanted to see the grades uh, for the assignments that you com completed. But the main area will be the Stream section whenever you review Google Classroom. So let's discuss what the schedule will look like on those Cyber Academy days. Now, for our students that are taking the Cyber Academy fully online, 
you will be able to complete your work at your own pace so that it fits with, with your needs. And the teacher may or may not schedule certain times to have synchronous sessions with your colleagues. But on the days where our, the, the other students are going to be online, so those will be Tuesdays and Thursdays under a yellow phase day, or Monday through Friday if we are back into a red phase day, this is what the schedule will look like. The schedule will also be the same for K through 12. So it will be consistent across the whole district. And this will also be the schedule that we will use for flexible instructional days, which that's a whole nother topic that we'll discuss another time. But we know that in research, the benefits of all of you as students being able to sleep in are numerous. And so we want you to ensure that you're able to get your rest and so we've designed the schedule so that the teachers address all of their needs early in the morning, and we don't start class in a synchronous session until 10 o'clock for first period. And so we will have synchronous sessions um, starting at 10 o'clock, and then we will also have uh, all of your sessions go through until 11.45. So you will have synchronous time with each of your teachers during your cyber instruction time, either in the morning or in the afternoon. Everyone in the district will take a lunch and we also want you to take your lunch between 11.45 and 12.15. And then periods four through eight will last from 12.15 to 3.10. So this will ensure that you have the opportunity to meet with your teacher, to work with your teacher during a designated time. And that guarantees that time that you have with your teacher during a cyber instruction day, as opposed to in the past, you may or may not have had the opportunity to connect with your teacher at a designated time. This gives you a specific time to be able to work with all of your teachers during the school day. We hope that this gives you some good insight as far as what to expect when it comes to cyber instruction days uh, for the start of the 2020-2021 school year. We feel that Google Classroom is going to be a great opportunity to sync all of the resources that we have together when it comes to the calendar, when it comes to Google Meet, being able to jump right on and meet with your teacher, as well as ensuring that all of your documents are available right in your Google Drive. Every single student will have a Google account, will have a Google Drive, and will have a Chromebook. So I hope that this gives you some good insight as far as what to expect. The students that have elected to have the Cyber Academy, we will still use Google Classroom. You'll have a little bit more flexibility as far as when your assignments are going to be submitted, as well as some flexibility as far as your schedule. But other than that, I hope this gives you some good insight. If you have any questions, you know how to contact us, and we are very much looking forward to seeing you here this fall if it's face-to-face -face or if it's in a cyber environment.